um it looks like one of my favorite venues in east london mixed garage has gone um it's now been replaced by another uh venue called gold color garden color what was on my lips color garden has now um taken over from the space formerly known as no, what am I talking about? Colour Factory, sorry. Colour Factory has taken over from space, formerly known as Mixed Garage, with also an outdoor space called the Colour Garden. Interesting, because um, I guess during lockdown, I kind of just assumed, no, sorry, before lockdown, they put out a statement about, oh, we're going to, um, you know, uh, go back to the drawing board, blah, 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 what everyone else was doing, you know, when everyone's closed. But they didn't really announce that they were going to leave that space completely. I just thought they were just going to close down and when everything reopens, they'd reopen. But, you know, one of the casualties, unfortunately, has been a place that i um frolicked a lot of times um many many times on the weekend i'll just jump between the yard and mix and then maybe go to some other nondescript places but one of my favorite venues easy in Hackneywick. um really good sound system really good location I basically walk there um and just you know generally good people that kind of vibe there bounces are pretty safe as well everything's just really cool and then of course in mix they had that night that i went to for a lot um origins I think the first Origins that I went to might have been 2018 back there. I think it might have been Panago or someone playing. Um, so that was a pretty decent <clears throat> event to attend. And usually they had, you know, great p promoters putting in some decent nights. We got to see Tricks playing there, uh, like a little Innovision label showcase kind of thing. Um, plenty of things. Obviously, I went to go see, um, what's that, uh, uh, Pussy Palace Party. Those are always pretty cool. Um, loads of great stuff. But yeah, a whole new chapter is now going to be written going forward with Color Factory. This is courtesy of RA. It says the 300 capacity area will host weekly seated events. <coughs> Oops, sorry, my bad. From this Friday coming forward. It says the following. Young East London venue, Color Factory is opening a new outdoor area. Uh, on the same site formerly mixed garage the multi-purpose spot sits in queen's yard hackney wick though the indoor space can't open up until at least june 20 21st in accordance with your current covid regulations warm-up events will run from next friday april 16th at color the venues um 300 capacity outdoor area which is pretty sick in it to have an outdoor capacity of 300 that people can kind of rave and dance to it's going to be a vibe especially with the good weather in the summer she said come continues a two-month program has been revealed with dj slots for debonair ok williams alexander nutt sakaria sound flo deal andrew ashong james messiah big up errol um iconica and more color garden has been fitted with a martin audio system sound system so it continues it says yeah we are only a we are the only large black owned music venue in london is that? i didn't know that says director nathaniel williams that's pretty sick we are committed to representing and reflecting the diverse community of london so every single one of our in-house liners will always incorporate at least one person of color and will always be mixed gender that is sick i didn't even clock that actually that's actually quite cool that they do stuff like that where you don't actually realize that they've kind of inserted um you know representation to it and they've not made it a thing it just happens because the people that are running it kind of want to offer something a bit different to the you know current lineups that exist out there um in the in the clubbing space this is pretty sick man really really cool i didn't even notice that let's continue as of monday the 12th of april pubs bars and restaurants can serve food and drinks outdoors guests might be seated with no more than six people two households per table this is stage two of the roadmap but yeah look at that they've got these sick little um art directed art directed posters they put together the creative the creative direction sorry or the artwork or the creative or the posters is pretty sick it looks like a vhs cover um or like a cassette cover sort of vibe april may you've got obviously all the djs there listed in alphabetical order more to come and yeah, some good dates here all listed. So yeah, back to back weekends. Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday. What's the most heavily attended one so far they've got here? Uh OK Williams and uh Flo Dilly and somebody called Aham how do you pronounce that? Would you say is Ahada I had a I had a dream. Oh, that's sick. That's a cool name. I had a dream. Cool. So I had a dream is playing Saturday seventeenth of April twenty twenty one. Sick lineup, man. And the prices for the tickets are ninety pounds for a table of six, which is pretty decent, all things considered. Yeah, sick man. Great food. Is that all different vendors that are doing the food? Chickenish, holy smoke burger, kamaliki, the the hogless roast and veganushi. That's pretty sick. They've all gonna have their own little sections that you can eat at. And then the times for its opening as well are pretty decent as well. 
um, 8.30 to 2.30 a.m. So you get a you know, chance to get some dinner, have a little bit of a dance and a boogie, um, catch some people spinning and then, of course, head off home because there's good connections in terms of trains and stuff in that area as well with the overground and whatnot. And, of course, you know, you can always get an Uber back. So, yeah, definitely check out the Colour Garden at the Colour Factory, formerly Mixed Garage. Again, one of my favourite spots to go to. And, um, yeah, good luck to them with the programming. I like that programming. I like the idea behind... Um, having it be representative because that's the one thing about London that can be a little bit annoying especially for myself being a, a somewhat lower tier DJ right it can be difficult to get in to play in these kind of places because mostly you know they've got their own little contacts of people that they kind of want to play there in general and also it feels like sometimes the middle tier DJs who probably don't play enough as they who don't who probably don't play often as they should are usually fighting for the same spots that I'm trying to get. So then you end up in a position where you're trying to get those guys to play who are really good, those guys and girls, and then they can't play. And then you've got a whole host of people like myself who aren't, can't play either. And it's a complete, you know, nonsense. And then what's up happening is that like you end up having the same old people playing in all the same places weekend in, weekend out, which, you know, of course, you don't begrudge them because everyone needs gigs. Everyone needs to practice in front of people because much like stand-up comedy, DJing you have to do it in front of people you can practice as much as you want in your bedroom but unless you get in front of people and you actually get to read a crowd and is that person actually looking at the camera yeah as I see that yeah they are <laughs> um unless uh, unless you get a chance yeah you can see it in there there you go look <laughs> unless you get the chance to actually be in front of people and um and actually read a crowd and see what people like and clear a floor and then bring them back on a dance floor, you know, carry them through a peak set, closing set, opening set, whatever. You need to learn to do that in real time. So, you know, I don't begrudge middle tier DJs for going out there and trying to hunt for these 300, 500 capacity places and trying to get as many gigs as they can. And, you know, given and if they can't play, then getting their friends to play at the same place to kind of keep all the gigs in house because it's a real, um, what, what they what did Tim didn't say? It's a real knife fight out there for gigs when it comes to clubs. It's a real knife fight. Everyone is basically fighting for the same five to 10 spots to play at. Um, the same promoters are kind of, you know, playing everybody off against each other and then you end up with a pretty toxic scene for some time for in some occasions not all the came but sometimes so it's good to see them taking a pretty fresh approach to things and be like no we're gonna take it a bit different gendered um have a bit more representative of london overall so it just sounds different i've always said whenever you go to a club and you actually you know it's the vibe you're feeling inside when there's actually somebody playing on the decks that isn't a guy right it just feels different i don't know how to describe it but it just is the fact of the matter i remember towards the end of my time doing nights i tried to you know book a few of my girlfriends who were djing at the time but it definitely does help. It definitely does help to mix things up a little bit to see, you know, different people on the dance floor as well. You don't always just want to make it into like a pirate studio sessions every time you put on a night. Do you know what I mean, just using your friends, flipping, going crazy over the same tunes that you played them yesterday in your bedroom. And you want to mix up a little, make it a bit different. So yeah, good to see um, Color Factory doing that. And then yeah, attend attend the Color Factory and go to the Color Garden. It's not mixed anymore. Again, many memories gone, man, from mix, man. Mix just, if I remember correctly, they just replaced or they just changed the toilets as well. They made the toilets like non -gen non gendered, so you everyone kind of goes in at once. It's great, of course, if you're clubbing. I guess if you're not, it can get a bit weird. But if you're clubbing and you're usually drunk or high, you probably don't notice. But yeah, they just fixed the toilets. It was a pretty decent venue. But hey, you know, things need to change. Things need to change. <laughs>